What's up, s'mores? I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about tech reviews, tutorials, and how-tos. Today I have the brand new Dell XPS 13. I got to see this thing at CES and it was so pretty. I couldn't wait to get my hands on it, so I have it today for a review. But first, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. It's youtube.com slash Shannon Morse. You can also support me over at patreon.com slash Shannon Morse, as well as buymeacoffee.com slash Nubs. And I do want to say a huge thank you to Kea for their support over at Buy Me A Coffee. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Kea. You are keeping me caffeinated through all these recording sessions. So I appreciate it. You are helping me so much. Thank you. So again, this is the new 2020 Dell XPS 13 9300. This is an 11 inch laptop with a 13.4 inch display weighing in at only 2.8 pounds. The configuration that I have here is a Core i7 1065G7 with 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage on an SSD, and it's also a 1920 by 1200 touch display. This is in white and it costs about 1750. Now configurations do start at 999 so they do have a really competitive option and they increase in price depending on the CPU the storage memory screen and the features there's also a developer edition which is available and that is tuned precisely to work with Ubuntu that's the version that I have at home except mine's like three or four years old now I've been using it for ages and the thing still runs like a beast so I know that XPS 13s run like beasts it is a top choice as well with my group of infosec and programming friends too just because it's compatible with pretty much anything that you would run in Linux and Ubuntu. Now Dell has continued with the XPS 13 line this year with the new XPS 13 9300 series. I got my hands on one at a pre-briefing before CES but now that we actually get to use the thing in the real world I was like all right I'm ready to test out everything about this thing. Dell did not try to recreate something that we already love. They didn't try to change anything too much. They did make some noteworthy improvements to the details though, fine-tuning it to a point where I kind of have to ask what's next. It's already perfect! And spoiler alert, I kind of love this thing. Not just because it's an XPS 13, but they've made so many improvements from the version that I've had for three to four years. So I, I wanna upgrade. <laughs> Let's talk build quality. The entire thing is made out of CNC machined aluminum and frost for the color, while the Arctic white woven glass fiber palm rusts are super, super smooth. The palm rust is silky smooth to the touch. It's stain and UV resistant as well to keep it from yellowing or picking up any kind of oils from your hands. As an example, and I can link to it up above, I have marked one with a pen and I was able to wipe it off with a cloth. The screen is Gorilla Glass 6 on a touch panel. It's highly durable. Even the sides are highly durable and scratch resistant. So when you plug in USB drives or chargers, it's gonna keep you from scratching it up too much with the metal. The XPS in the Dell branding is very minimal, which I do appreciate. It's great because I generally cover it up with stickers anyway. So if you make the branding super small, I don't have to worry so much about where I'm gonna stick the stickers. I can just put them everywhere and it doesn't matter. I like that the cover is sort of a matte white as well. It looks very, very premium. It feels really nice and soft to the touch as well. Opening the laptop is easy, one-handed. This is kind of a cool feature. It's something that I didn't even think to look for, but when I did it, I was like, ooh, that's nice. While it doesn't lay all the way flat like the two-in-one can, it does stop at a very good angle. And the hinge on the back is really, really refined and it hides whenever you open it. it just it looks so good. It looks like Dell paid a lot of attention to the details on this XPS 13 and I appreciate that. I like pretty form factors. It's just a thing. So since this laptop includes top of the line specs as well, it's not just pretty. It boots up fast into Windows. There's Windows Hello, which is integrated as facial recognition through the webcam, or you can log in with a fingerprint reader in the corner. That's also super cool. The fingerprint reader also doubles as the power button, which saves some room on the keyboard. Now I mentioned the palm rest, but let's talk about that trackpad and that keyboard as well. Like previous models, this one does have a very precise glass touchpad, which is very soft to the touch. It allows you to easily glide across it without any kind of friction. I like that it's made to match up with the palm rest too so closely that it keeps dust out of the edges of the thing. That drives me nuts whenever that happens. It is a whopping 17% larger, that trackpad, than the previous 13 and you can totally see it. It's freaking huge. The keyboard is very familiar to me since
since I've been using XPS 13s. It is a chiclet keyboard with one millimeter of travel, though the keycaps are a little bit larger, so there is less space in between those keys. It's incredibly easy to type on. I really like the layout since it does make transitioning from a full-size keyboard pretty much a breeze. It does have backlighting at three different intervals along with an ambient light sensor to automatically control its level as well. The backlighting, I will say, is kind of hard to see on the white keyboard, especially during the day. It doesn't help too much at night. I often find that illuminating the keyboard with the screen allows me to see the letters a lot easier, but luckily I, I kind of memorize typing, so I don't necessarily have to peck at keys to find whichever ones I'm finding. Usually I can just do it from memory. The speakers are found on both sides. They are down facing, but boy, are they beasts, seriously. They are super, super loud. They've got plenty of bass for a laptop. I was impressed with the speakers on here. They're very clear as well. As far as ports go, you do get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, power over two Thunderbolt 3 type USB-Cs on both sides. There's also a micro SD card slot as well. And that 720p webcam is barely noticeable. You can barely even see that it's there at the top in the middle. It's almost the same size as far as physically, as a smartphone camera, like the front facing camera on a smartphone. It's really, really teeny tiny. And I'm glad that it is because that makes the bezel so teeny tiny as well. The display is now a four sided infinity edge display with that bottom bezel going from 19.5 millimeters to a whopping 4.6 millimeters. They made a huge difference. So you end up getting more display in a smaller form factor. In fact, it's a 16 by 10 display, so it's 16 6.8% larger than their older models. This display also gives you 500 nits of brightness. So even on the sunniest of days, like I can sit on my back porch during this pandemic and there are plenty of days here in Colorado where it's just straight up sun. So I could still see what the heck I'm doing on there, write all my show notes, write my scripts, and I have no problems. The viewing angles are also really great. So I can power through a workday really, really easily. The colors are gorgeous and the screen includes Dell's iSafe technology, which helps reduce emitted blue light, which can help you with eye strain if you're looking at your computer for hours and hours per day, which is definitely something that I feel like we all do. <laughs> it does get warm whenever you are using lots of processing power, but it's not uncomfortable. So I can easily leave this in my lap and be able to get my work done. The thermals and the fans built into the XPS 13, it's not fanless, it does have fans. Those do help disperse some heat really well. The fans are super, super quiet. I can barely hear them even when I'm running lots of applications, so I'm pretty happy with that. The battery life is also incredible. It easily lasts a full day of work, even whenever I'm watching like tons of videos on YouTube or Netflix, so very happy with the battery as well. I can easily get eight hours out of the thing, no problem. So are there any drawbacks? Well, I would say that it will cost you a pretty penny and it does not have any USB type A ports on it, but it does come with an adapter in the box. So they did consider that whenever they were packing this thing in the box, which is also recyclable. And I love that. Otherwise drawbacks, no, not really. It's a healthy upgrade to the previous model and Dell has continuously made it worth the money. Now, while the Dell XPS is not a gaming machine, no doubt, the XPS 13 is a premium device for people that are working constantly for people who are up on the go. And it's so travel friendly because of the size and the weight as well. It's so lightweight, it's wonderful. I have to say after working with XPS 13s over so many years, I can definitely see this as an upgrade option if you are moving from one that's a couple of years old and you want something that's a little bit better build, a little bit more designed to be efficient, to be useful whenever you are on the go. I love the Dell XPS line. They are some of my favorite devices and I'm always very, very happy to get one in my hands and actually check it out in person because you can't recommend something until you've actually used it. At least that's how I feel. I would love to know what you think of the Dell XPS line. If there's anything in this laptop that you would like to see them change, definitely let me know in the comments below. To me, it's almost perfect. Maybe improve the backlighting on the keyboard and take into consideration the ports that you will be missing on such a thin device such as this one, but otherwise, 
it's great. I should probably get to erasing my account on here and sending it back to Dell. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you do have any questions or if there's anything that I missed in this review, leave your comments down below because I would love to answer those for you as I will have this in possession for probably a few more days before I ship it back to them. As usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with your friends if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, my name is Shannon Morris. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it to each and every one of you and I'll see you in the next review. Bye.